Hello everyone, welcome to CLAP. My name is Diana and for today I have a short and sweet vinyasa flow for opening up the upper body and strengthening the back. So we won't be using any props, but if you find you're a bit tight in the hamstrings, having two blocks or something roughly that high like a thick book could be great for you. So when you're ready, I'll meet you on the mat. Let's get started in an active child's pose. Settle your hips on your heels and extend your arms out in front of you. Tent your fingertips on the mat and lift the palms, keeping your arms engaged. Gently crawl your fingers to the right side of your mat while keeping the hips connected to the heels. Feel a nice stretch along the left side of your body. Take deep breaths. Start to become in tune with your own body and breathing. Now walk your fingertips to the other side, continuing to breathe deeply. Feel a stretch along the right side of your body and your shoulder. Remember to keep those hips on the heels. Come back to center and start rolling forward into a tabletop position. We will now work on isolating cat-cow movements along the spine. For now, lift your sit bones up, cow, and tuck the tailbone, cat, alternating between lifting and dropping your tail, focusing on isolating the movements in your own time. Now we will work on the middle back. So round your middle spine up, drawing the navel in and drop your belly, curving the middle spine. It won't look like much, but just try to focus on isolating the movements. Let's work on our upper spine and neck. So don't drop your head back. Instead, think of extending your chin away from your chest, stretching your neck, and then rounding forward. You can pause the video and do these a few more times before the classic cat cows. So exhale, fully around your spine, drawing your navel in and inhale, open your chest, gaze upwards. Exhale, gaze towards your pelvis, doming your back like an angry cat. Inhale, sit bones up, dragging your chest through your arms, looking up. Take one more round. On your next breath, extend your right arm up, opening your chest, and thread the arm underneath your body, resting on your right shoulder. To increase the stretch, walk your left hand over to the right top corner of your mat. Breathe into the stretch. On your next inhale, take a counter twist if you like, and let's change. Extend your left arm towards the sky. Thread your arm underneath your body, and if you like, walk your right hand to the left corner of your mat this time. Breathe. You can take a counter twist again if you like and placing both hands on the mat push your hips back over your knees and sink your chest down into a puppy stretch your forehead could be on the mat but for an extra stretch place your chin on the mat or even lift it off the mat tuck your toes and push yourself back into a downward facing dog move it around a bit bending one knee at a time, or making any movements your body needs. Find stillness in a couple of breaths. Inhale. 
In your down dog, lift your sit bones up just like in cow, but keep the cat feeling in your upper body, drawing your rib cage and navel in. Now lift your heels and start rounding your spine, shifting your weight forward into a high plank. Lift your sitting bones up and push yourself back into a down dog. Once again, ripple your spine forward into plank and shift your weight back into a downward facing dog. Take one more spinal wave, syncing your movement with your breath. And from your downward facing dog, lift your right leg up, keeping your hips square. Bend your knee, pull it into your chest, hold, flex your foot and noiselessly step your foot between your hands. Drop your left knee to the floor and keep your back toes tucked for more stability. Interlace your fingers over your right thigh. Elongate your spine and draw your chest upwards and back. Coming into a little back foot. Release, place your hands to the mat or blocks if needed and shift your weight back into half splits. Extend and elongate your spine. Inhale, right arm goes up for a gentle twist. Exhale, come back into your low lunge. Repeat the same back bend or Extend your arms over your head, interlacing your fingers and releasing the index finger in Kali Mudra. Look at what you're pointing at. Keep pointing back as far as you comfortably can, lifting your chest, keeping length in your spine. Now release. Place your hands on the mat and keeping your right leg straight, Extend it up into a three-legged dog. Place the leg down and change. Inhale, left leg goes up, hip square. Exhale, shift your weight forward, knee to chest. Hold. Now noiselessly release your left foot between your hands. Right knee goes down. Interlace your fingers over your left thigh and extend your spine. Come into this gentle back bend and feel the nice hip opening at the same time. Keep your chest lifted up and now release. Come back into half splits, keeping the spine nice and long. Now you will open your chest by lifting your left arm up for a gentle twist. Release your hand back down and come back into a low lunge. Extend your arms up in Kali Mudra with your index fingers pointing up and then back. Arms are extended, spine is long. Lift your chest up, find that length in your spine, and shine your heart. Keep breathing. Now release. Place your hands back down to the mat, and extending your left leg, come back into a three-legged dog and release into a normal downward facing dog. Lift your heels and ripple your spine forward into a high plank. Slowly with control, release yourself all the way down to the ground. Big toes touch, legs extended. Hands underneath your shoulders. Start peeling your chest off the ground using the strength of your palms to create traction and pulling your chest through your arms. Gaze at your nose or at the sky.
or even behind you. Gently release and repeat again by coiling your spine, lifting your head and your chest up. Release and now push yourself back into a puppy pose. This time, if you're up for a challenge and your chin is on the ground, tuck your toes and extend your legs, lifting your hips even higher to feel that tremendous stretch in your upper body. Slowly place your knees back down on the mat and slide forward into a cobra pose with your hands underneath your shoulders, extending your spine. Now you can tuck your toes and come up into an upward facing dog. And push yourself back into a downward facing dog. Take a couple of mindful breaths. Now you will lift your right leg up, yawn the hip open, bending your knee. Your shoulders can open too, that's okay. Now bring your knee to your chest and step forward into a high lunge. Lifting your chest up, your arms up, and then cactus your arms to open your heart. Leaning your torso forward, extend your arms straight. Exhale, expand your chest, broadening your collarbones. Inhale, lean forward, creating one straight line with your body and exhale back to cactusing your arms. This time, hold your high lunge and place your hands on the mat inside of your right foot. So heel toe your right foot to the edge of the mat. You can stay here or come down to your forearms. You can place your back knee on the mat and using your right hand, push your knee away from you, twisting in your upper body. This should feel very nice for your glutes. Keep breathing into the stretch. Come back to your hands and lift your back knee once again, tucking your toes. Extend your front leg and take a pyramid fold. So your feet are hip width distance like train tracks. Keep your spine straight. And extend your right arm up for a twist. Exhale, rotate your body inwards Inhale, open your chest to the side once more. Exhale, close your body. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. And bring your hands back down to the floor. Shoot your right leg back up into a three-legged dog and switch your legs. Opening your left hip over your right, bend your left leg. Rise into the ball of your right foot and shift forward, bring your knee to your chest. Inhale, the leg goes back up. Exhale, round your spine, knee to chest, and step between your hands. Inhale, lift yourself up into a high lunge. Cactusing your arms, exhale, lean forward. Take a few rolls like that at your own pace. So opening your chest, and shifting your weight forward. Open your chest, inhale, and exhale, creating a straight line with your body. Come back to high lunge, pause, and bring your hands to the earth into lizard lunge. 
So your hands or forearms are on the inside of your left leg this time. Release your back knee and push your front knee away from your body, opening up your chest for this yummy stretch. Breathe into any discomfort, but remember that you should never feel any pain. So just back off if needed. Come back to lizard on your hands and set yourself up for pyramid pose. So feet a bit closer to each other, but preserve the hip width distance and keep your hips square. Extend your chest, find length through your spine and you can fold over your leg. Now reach your left arm up for a twist and exhale, close your body. Inhale, twist. Exhale, close. Open and close. Come back to your hands on the ground, lifting your left leg up behind you into a three-legged dog. Release the leg to the ground and ripple your spine forward to slowly lower your body to the mat. Interlace your fingers behind your back and pressing down through the tops of your feet, lift your chest up. Make sure your arms are hovering above your glutes, not on them. Now lower back down and inhale, lift your chest up once more, smile your collarbones. Exhale, release back down to the ground now extend your arms forward in front of you and lift your chest and legs up. We'll go for a short swim. So circle your arms while fluttering your straight legs, lifting your chest higher when your elbows bend backwards. Keep swimming, using the strength of your back and your core. Now place your hands by the sides of your chest and lift up into a cobra or upward facing dog. Push yourself back into a down dog. Deep breaths to realign your spine. And lift your right leg up. Keeping the height of your leg shift forward into a back bendy plank. Now lower your left knee to the floor and extend your left arm forward. Find your stability and balance. And now lift both your leg and your arm up. Lift even higher and lower your arm back to shoulder level. Lift your arm and leg again and release to parallel. Lift up, bend your knee and grab your foot from the inside with your left hand. Now kick your leg up, keep kicking with no breaks or hesitation, and gracefully release. Placing your hand back down to the mat, keeping your leg extended upwards, bend your elbows and lower your chest to the mat. Optionally, step your left foot in. Release your right leg back to the ground and lift yourself up into an upward facing dog and back into a down dog. Beautiful work, that was challenging, but guess what? We have the other side. So lift your left leg up this time, keeping the height of your leg shift forward into a back bendy plank and lower your right knee to the floor. Extend your right arm forward into a balancing tabletop and lift your leg and arm higher. Now go to parallel and lift both arm and leg up parallel position again and inhale up now bend your knee and grab your foot from the inside kicking up feel the nice stretch in your shoulder keep kicking no hesitations no breaks and gracefully release once more place your hands back down on the mat bend elbows and bring your chest to the floor Release the leg and lift up into an upward facing dog. 
Now shift your weight back into a downward facing dog and hold for a couple of breaths. Roll forward into a plank and slowly lower yourself back down to the earth. Make a T-shape with your body, so spread your arms wide. Lift your left leg up and reach your toes towards your right hand, keeping your upper body on the ground as much as you can. If your foot is close to your hand, you can even grab it to increase the opening in the hips. I always hear a few cracks in this twist. Release. Come back to your belly for one breath and now bring that foot over your body, landing in a twist with the sole of your left foot on the ground. To increase the stretch, bend your right knee too. Breathe. Try to bring those knees together. To your belly and this time lift your right leg up and reach your toes towards your left hand keeping your upper body glued to the ground initiate the twist from your lower spine you can grab your foot if it's close to your hand keep breathing into this stretch now release Coming back to your belly and lift that leg again, bringing the foot over your body. So landing in a twist with the sole of your right foot this time on the ground. To increase the stretch, bend your other knee and try to bring the knees together. This is a wonderful stretch for your upper body, especially your shoulders. It's quite deep, so keep breathing. Roll back onto your belly and take a couple of nice breaths here. Bend both knees and grab your ankles with your hands. Now kick back, flexing your feet. Keep your thighs on the ground and lift your chest up. If you can't reach your feet, by the way, you can always take locust. Slowly roll back down and release. Take a break by resting on one cheek. We'll take one more bow. This time lift the thighs off the ground and roll over to the right. Kick your left leg into your hand and try not to splay your knees too much. Just keep kicking. Roll back onto your belly, lift your bow, and roll over onto the other side. And start kicking into your right hand. Once more, come to your belly and release your legs. Now you'll simply roll over to your back, bending your knees, bring the feet close to you so you can brush your heels with your fingers. Using the strength of your legs, lift yourself up into bridge pose, keeping your thighs and feet parallel. Stay here if you like, or take your hands to your shoulders in preparation for a wheel. So place the crown of your head on the floor first, Make sure your elbows aren't splaying and then lift up. Hold your wheel and feel the awesome opening in your shoulders. Now release, come to your back and extend your legs forward. Bring your right knee to chest. Squeeze it into your body and hold. Now twist to the left, gazing at your right hand. Both shoulders remain on the ground.
come back to center, extend your right leg and bring your left knee to your chest. Squeeze and using your hand, twist to the right. Gaze at your left hand. Keep the shoulders connected to the earth. Now release, bring both knees to chest and grab your big toes with your peace fingers. Pull your knees outside of you and down for a happy baby. You can extend one leg at a time or you can extend both legs together, keeping your whole spine and glutes connected to the ground. Release your legs and give your knees one final hug. You can gently rock from side to side to massage your lower back. Release your legs and make any final adjustments before you ease into Shavasana. You deserve it. Bring your feet as wide as you wish and let them fall apart. Relax your arms a few inches away from your body, palms facing the sky. Breathe naturally. Allow your whole body to melt away into the ground. You can pause the video and stay here as long as you wish. Otherwise, you will start deepening your breaths, wiggling your fingers and toes. You can give a few rolls to your wrists and your ankles, and now extend your arms over your head for a nice full body stretch. Bend your knees and roll over to your favorite side, using your arm as a pillow. Gently come into a comfortable seat and close your eyes once more. Bring your hands to chest and bow down to your own heart and to the ground. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this fun heart opening class and are feeling nice and open. If you want to support me and see more videos like this, please like and comment below, subscribe to my channel, and share this video with your friends or family. Thank you so much once again, and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye!